Hello everybody and welcome back to the Max Hamilton Road to the Show, episode 143, as Max continues to make history in the MLB. As uh, brought up in a comment, the record is, let me check this one more time, I believe it's 58. Uh, for most consecutive scoreless innings, it is 58 held by Oral Hershiser. We're at 36. Complete game shut against the Sox, Tampa Bay Rays, Pittsburgh Pirates, and Kansas City Royals have sparked this incredible run by Max. He's got these eight and five with a 1-4 ERA, 131 strikeouts, and in 116 innings pitched. He is now, I believe, the leader for the Cy Young. And I am correct in that. Noah Syndergaard and Willie Guevara trail him. But overall, it's just been an incredible run. Even if we don't get, a re get the record, it has been amazing. But today we get to face off against a pretty bad team in the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, they're 26 and 44 as of right now. But we're facing off against one of their better pitchers, Jimmy Yacobonis. But he's only thrown 25 innings. Let's check out what Yacobonis looks like. He's an 82 overall. Okay. Uh, this seems actually pretty young. They have Jose Manzanillo, who has a ton of potential. Um, and overall, like, this team really could turn into a really, you know, solid team. But right now, they're just not there. Let's check out this lineup for them. Jimmy Clemente leads off. Uh, Juan Feliz is second. Wyatt Baldwin... Uh, the young center fielder hits third. DJ Stewart, Bill Waring, still there. Playing third base, Taylor Ward, McGinnis Sierra, Chancisco, and Buster Kahn is still there. Okay, looks pretty similar. Chancisco rakes off of us for some reason. Hold on, I gotta sneeze. I just sneezed my headset off. <laughs> But anyways, Chance Sisko hits very well against us. Um, and they also have Rio Ruiz, who is 28 now, so I guess he's not that good. Um, or has no potential to really be much. But the lineup's not the strongest, and but the rotation is stronger. All 80 pluses. Lance McCullers leads it. Jose Manzanillo has the potential to be really good. Um... But we're going to face Yacobonis today, who's had a pretty good start to his uh, season so far. But without further ado, let's check out the standings. We are fourth in division. The Orioles are fifth. Uh, we're seven and a half back. We're eight and two in our last ten. We're seven and a half back on the wild card. We're chasing probably the division title still, if we're chasing anything. Um, and Max versus the Orioles in the past. Five games, four no record, a little over two ERA, 37 strikeouts and 39 innings. Um, and I have decided to do one thing real quick. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so we have Baltimore next up. And this will be our second to last start in the month of June. So let's go ahead and win our next two games. What is happening? Cutter control, that would help. The cutter break would be cool. The splitter is not in dire need of any cap. Home runs per night is not in dire need. Could definitely use some uh, some more break maybe, or we could do control. I think I might rock with break for these two. Yeah, let's do that. But get them both the seventy-seven. And uh, try to freeze some more batters. The, pit, the sweeping curve and the circle change already move a good bit. We're winning a lot of games right now. This is crazy. All right, we could work with Seven Fernandez, but I think I'm going to work with Tyler Wade and get him to friendly. Work on heart and soul. And we're a friend with him now. All right. And we have won all our games in the time in between. We signed Christian Walker. 
Um, lineups look pretty similar. That's how ours is looking right now. Let's go, Jimmy Yacobonis. We can keep this streak going, possibly. Let's get into it. Got a friendship with everybody now. Tyler Wade makes it up to friendly status. Can I check the divisions or the record? 36 and 39. Wow. Holy cow. What a season turnaround by the Blue Jays. Let's get into it. MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Baltimore Orioles. The Jays aim to notch their seventh win in a row right after this. Jimmy Yacobonis starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, how good has this guy been up to this point? In a day and age where guys and teams are scoring lots of runs, to have an ERA sub two, that's saying something. Hopefully, we're going to see Let's more of the ball. same. Three. Out. Right, nothing going in the first for the Jays. Let's get into this start. On the road in Baltimore. they lead things off here in the bottom half of the First pitch here today for Max. It's a hit on the ground and out number one is made by Tyler Wade. Nicely done. One pitch, one out to start. VR is playing third today, which is a little strange, but that's fine. Now the highest average in Juan Feliz steps up, hitting 297. And we said they they haven't been that good. We've hopped to third. Yeah, Maddie, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around. He fouls that one into the glove, strike one. You have a chance to rattle off a seventh. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. And there are the umpires. Pretty bad pulse there. Balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. This is low, 2 1. To be aware of as a hitter from Carl Dixon, he'll call that high strike. Yeah, he will. So you better be on top of your game with two strikes because if they elevate, good chance Carl Dixon. On the grounds, Defon Fernandez has it. Out number two is made. Stepping in, Wyatt Baldwin looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. First pitch on its way. Ball one taken just Not hitting our spots incredibly well right now. But the pitch count is still low. And the game is still young. Strike one. I was thinking splitter two. And the pitch. Fouled off. He's early on it. How about a sweeping curve? Maybe get him fishing. Fouled off. Might have been a little late on it. So let's try a fastball up and in. A little too high. Close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off. Cutter in on his hands. Uh, full count now. Missed again. Oh, thank you for that DJ shot. That is awesome. I don't want to look at that anymore. 3-2. We lose him. Good eye by Wade Baldwin. And we walk a runner on. DJ Stewart steps up. Strike one. Apparently he can run. Hole he can run. Not worried about him right now. Don't get the call there. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute oh. superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name. Good circle change. Kids behind DJ Stewart, jersey. One and two, here it comes. Mm. Get him to chase the curve all the way, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution 
was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks. And we can play this one, and Stewart will be retired. So one walk, 17 pitches. And we'll get out of this one with nothing going for Baltimore so far. Nicely done. Nicely, nicely done. 37. Oh, baby. Let's go. 4 nothing game now. And if we want that Cy Young, we're going to need to win more games. So. One of our goals for the year was to get 20 wins. That's a ball. If we... End up winning these next two games. This is just a hypothetical. Nice play, Fernandez. Then we will improve to 10 and 5. And uh, once June turns over, we're into the second half of the year. So we're basically projected for 20 and 10 if things stick the same, and that would be our 20 win goal. That's a lot of decisions on the year. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Eight and five is a record. Pitches, uh, pitchers post at the end of the year sometimes. Inside cutter. Got it by him. That's our first strikeout of the day. Oh, what a play. Show off the reflexes, Max. One, two, three inning for the Orioles. The guy's wearing a Chris Davis uniform. All right, let's keep moving. And another run scores, and it's 5 nothing. Blue Jays. All right. You, sir, are one of my biggest enemies. We've struggled against you in the past. He's hit two home runs against us. He's drove home lots of runs, but this time he'll one pitch fly out. And there's one down. You know what? I think I'm going to push the foul frequency back up. It seems like our pitch count has been pretty low. Set to get his day started, Buster Khan. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to <laughs> There's a foul ball. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Not a circle change here. A little too far outside. Buster's not having a great season after a Rookie of the Year campaign maybe one or two years ago. I don't remember. I believe it was one. I believe it was last year. It's a good fastball. Got him pretty late on that. Let's go cutter now. Inside. And he strikes out. The cutter's working for strikeouts today. Number two on the day. In his last start, he racked up double digit K's, and it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really Ooh. an exciting pitcher to watch. Well, by him, sending guys packing like this. Well, it's a splitter. I'll try it. And that's going to be a base hit. The first of the day for the Orioles. Fernandez could not get to it, and that will be a two out hit. Well, look at us down there. We've actually gotten it up. All right, Juan, I see you've had a pretty rough series. Found that off. That's filthy. 
More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, it's a good splitter, but he won't chase. Without question, 1020. You'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself. And he chases the sweeping curve. Strikeout number three. Into the third. We give up a hit, but uh, nothing really comes of it. Still up 5 0. We're up to 39 straight. Do, 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 do. All right, here we go. Coming to the plate now, Wyatt Baldwin. He's hitless in the first two games of the series, 0 for 8. Hit on the ground down the first. Walked him last time. Run, Stephanie's fast. And that is a one pitch out. Now with the plate, DJ Stewart. DJ apparently has two homers. And uh this series two homers let's keep him away from that today it's fouled off it's late let's go fastball it's late again oh this one drops oh two and he swings through the fastball strikeout number four well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump. Get a max. So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, and then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. That was a three-pitch strikeout. That was right down the middle. Waring took it. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Go fastball here. That's chopped. Waring's going to reach on a super weak chopper. That sucks. Not too much to worry about on the base paths. But now there's something to worry about. Taylor Ward. I got it. <laughs> two down. And two on now. All right, McGinnis Sierra. Magnera here. I always get it wrong. Strike one. Filthy. Circle change here, but it's taken for ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Felt that off. Now let's just throw it. From the belt, the pitch. And he chases it. Strikeout number five. And even though the two-out rally got going for him, nothing scores. Still 5-0 Baltimore. And now we're at 40. 18 innings away from tying the record. <laughs> it's 8 nothing. Jeez. And that'll bring up the catcher chance. Chance Cisco steps up. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. Regardless of what happens, if we get through this inning, we should have the win. Unless it's an absolute meltdown, which Max rarely has. I'm not sure he's ever really had one. Oh, this is a sweeping curve. Oh, oh one. That's filthy. Would have been a great two strike pitch. Trying to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea of fouled it off. Let's go with a sweeping curve. See if we can get him chasing like we got Magnar Sierra. And we will. Strikeout number six of the day. So another exceptional effort for and look at how far ahead we are. And that's that's really all because of this run we've had. And as you can see there, he's really had it going into the month of June, currently leading the AL in that department. Ready for another chance? Buster Khan. Possibly the best pitcher in all of baseball at this point. I was supposed to cover the bag. Dude, why does Fernandez always get there? He is so good at that. Two down. For Baltimore, Jimmy 
Clemente. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. He was the first hit of the day. Start him with a circle change. Hey, he's close to having another quick inning right there with two quick outs. How about a splitter? Very economical with his pitches, and if he continues to go like this, the bullpen might get a day off. Just late. High and tight fastball. And he's behind it. Strikeout number seven on the day for Max. And we're finally getting that fastball to really work for him. Oh, we are on fire. Moving on to the sixth. And uh, I just, I feel, I feel I need to prove this to y'all. We're on legend, truly. Like this is the best run in all of baseball right now. Great fastball. Something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. He's late on that. Fastball, high and tight on Juan Feliz. And that's popped up. Fernandez has it. And that is one down here in the sixth. Doing a good job right now. Of holding runners off early in the inning. Only base runners have come with two outs, I believe. One's in there for strike one. Circle change doesn't hit. How about a cutter inside? Hope this gets inside. It's a perfect spot. Adam Frazier fields, throws first, and out number two is made. Alright, we've done pretty well with DJ Stewart so far. Hmm, not going to give us the call. In the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. That is actually going to weirdly get fair. It's a ground rule double for DJ Stewart as he goes against that shift. It's another two-out hit. All right, we should be afraid to walk Bill Waring. Hey, this is what every hitting coach teaches when you start playing baseball. Don't try to do more than you can. That's filthy. Where it's pitched, and he does a great job right there. Ground rule double. <laughs> okay, blue. I'm not quite sure. It's a perfect pitch, but doesn't get the call. Doesn't chase there. Splitter got a piece of it. Fouled it off. Stewart at second with two down. That's in the right. And the streak is over. He comes across to score. He will be safe at first, I mean at second, and that is it for the streak. Wow. Well, Bill Waring ends it. And that's just it. Uh, I'm not sad. I mean, I'm sad it's over, but it was it was time for it to be over, if that makes sense. It was an incredible run. If we add it all up, we have four games. At, so that equals 36 innings plus five. Uh, equals 41 and two-thirds innings of scoreless baseball. Let's try not to give up another one here. Cutter. 
on the ground. That's going to get through, and you know, when it rains, it pours. It's going to score another one. He's going to second. He will be out. But Baltimore puts up two. And it's 8-2 now. All right, that's tough, but it's okay. It is what it is. Looks like we might score even more. We end up getting one of those back. Looks like we'll throw this seventh. Let's just rock with one strikeout. and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners. 789 most likely to end Max's day. And he falls behind 0 and 2. 0 2 sweeping curve. Got him. Yes sir. Strikeout number 8. For him in the ball game. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front. Really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to. The bat, the catcher. Standing in now, Chance Cisco. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Well, Cisco always seems to hit us hard, but oh. That bat nearly hit the third baseman, and a bad throw pulls him off. It's an E5. Yeah, we always playing out of position here. That ball's moving weird. It's a tough one to charge. The throw has to be really well. He's nearly there. That's a tough play. Broke his bat, and that's popped up. Randall Gritchick is there. Two down. Oh, wait, that's Don Hoskins. I think Gritchick might be DHing now, with Hoskins now playing right field. He's late. Oh man, that's filthy. Two runs. Well, it won't be a complete game shutout, but I will take that ninth strikeout, and that'll end Max's day most likely. He's in line for the win. Gives up two runs in six innings. There's no reason to keep us in this game, honestly. Oh, we're pitching the eight. <laughs> this is kind of shocking. Ninety-three in the eighth. Good circle change. Strike two. so far, hitting nearly all of the spots and. That's been a big factor why he's been so oh, two fastball. I mean sweeping curve. He won't chain. I mean he won't chase. How about a splitter to you, Juan Feliz? On the ground, it's gonna be foul. He's late on the splitter. You're getting us. You're getting a cutter now. That's crushed out left. Robbie Pohl has it. Nicely done. Six complete games. I don't think we've had one that's not a shutout, so this would be a first if we could pull this off. That's uh, going to be caught. Nicely played. Two down here in the eighth. Alright, DJ. DJ Stewart. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe once in A B, maybe once a game. Maybe once a curve next. He certainly capitalized on it last time. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Yeah, 
He's really early. How about one more? For strikeout number 10. Ooh. How did he get that? Fastball in on his hands. And that ball's hit well, but Don Hoskins will get there. And that's out number three of the Might get a chance for a complete game after all. Up 9-2. In line for win number nine on the year. And we won't get to finish the game, actually. They just had us throw eight. All right, nicely done, boys. We're almost 500 on the air now. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. A nine to two finish. That was actually Brinson out left and Robbie in center. Wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Max Hamilton earned his ninth win of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Jimmy Yacobonis couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRose. Yacobonis got absolutely shelled. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Nicely done. Eight innings pitch, six hits, nine strikeouts, two earned runs, and one walk. Yacobonis only threw two and a third with five earned runs, and he was out pretty quick. We had nine strikeouts. Um... Easily clearing the eight innings. So that's nice to see. And we're still in 98. Nothing actually went up. In fact, clutch went down, even though we only. Okay. Two seam break went to a 77. Not sure how much that matters. Two seam velocity got a good little boost. Walks per nine. Yeah. All right. Back in the locker room, let's check out some statistics. First and foremost, how are... So, Don is a right fielder. I thought he was a center fielder originally. Um, Gritchick is DHing, and is that... I guess Don is a better fielder now. Or in their eyes, he is. Robbie Paul is playing left. Who's playing center? Brinson? All right, Brinson is a good fielder. It's good to see our catcher, Reese McGuire, finally getting somewhere. I'm going to have frame rate drops because of this antivirus thing popping up on my computer. But, um, yeah, okay. I'm going to check the standings now. Oh, this is actually pretty important. Are we coming back? We're three and a half back on the Rays. What is happening? Six back in the wild card, but and I don't expect to catch anybody, but what is happening? <laughs> Anyways, Max, um, his ERA would have went up, giving up two hard runs. Yeah, it's one, four, five, he's nine and five record. 140 strikeouts and 124 innings pitched. Um, and we're 5-0 and against the Orioles now. Yeah, doing well against them. Still a 98 overall, though. About to be 99. That's crazy. Let's check the awards. And we are leading the Cy Young by a good margin now. Looks like Guevara dropped out and Gabriel Moya is back. This guy just doesn't have the innings, does he? He's only got 80 innings pitched. This guy's, yeah, 112, and then we have 140, or 124. We have 140 strikeouts. Let's check out Max's war so far this year. It's probably even higher than last year already. <laughs> no, it is at 4.9, though. We're well on track to be higher. Signed for one more year, um, but obviously we're under arbitration, so. Anyways, uh... Here's the gains on the year. As you can see, the K per nine and home runs per nine have gotten really good boosts. Uh, but we're not going to get that big of boosts at all. Just simply because we're already a 98 overall. 
but things will go up as they please. Um, we don't need to touch hits per nine. That will get to a 99 on its own, possibly by um, next season. Maybe K per nine can get up to around 88 by the end of the year. Walks per nine above 75. Home runs per nine maybe at 75. I don't know. We still want to work on that velocity and obviously the break. But our next start will be against the Seattle Mariners. Uh, 36 and 39. We're 37 and 39. We face Trevor Williams, who's one of their better starters. But we'll hop into a series versus Boston. We won't see that, but we'll pitch versus the Mariners at home in the next one. That'll be our last start of June and about the halfway point on the year. But that's it for me today. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's nice to see Max do so well lately. Um, and obviously the streak ended, but it is what it is. That's it for me.